Hello everyone, welcome back. And today I'm just going to show you a plugin which is newly introduced in 5.4, which is Motion Design. So first thing is we have to enable from this plugin panel. So go to here and just set Motion Design. Here you will see two different plugins. So from here you have to just enable. Okay and uh, go back to here and a uh, few assets you have to get from this mega uh, scan which is quick cell breeze so i have just uh, inserted these uh, few grasses and uh, uh, grasses presets okay and uh, this uh, statue so now uh, get it here first thing is i'm just going to delete this background and this the character control space to get uh, this uh, library content raw and from here i'm just importing this first thing i just inserted this and uh, again one more thing we have to do that is uh, this uh, these plants you have to get here uh, just select one 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 three four oh. okay just drag everything here and just check the position of all these assets so go to first in the property panel and from here we will uh, say it to zero and uh, all uh, objects going to place in the center of uh, the area so now just say zero 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 now select this and press f to get focus your object now uh, <coughs> select this first go to here and select the motion design and in the motion design you will see the actors inside the cloner you will see the options click and drag over here and uh, go to in the property of uh, this cloner okay just say zero because i want to get it to in the zero position here and uh, rotation also you have to say it to zero Now delete this default queue because this area, this environment is the default queue. Just say delete from here. Yes. And one more thing we have to do, which is this grass we have to uh, parent with this cloner too. So first just say movable, then it will parent automatically over this cloner. Select this and now check actually inside this you have to get the target so go to here inside this option uh, layout name say mesh right inside the mesh you will see the option uh, simple uh, actor just select and pick now we have to do the task which is uh, the sizing thing so sizing we have to do from here again and uh, just say scale uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and 0.5. Now I'm not able to see the texture part. So go to in the cloner and from here I'll just keep one. Now you can see the texture. Okay. And uh, go back to here. Uh, in the motion uh, design panel and from here i will use the effector so click and drag so it is here i want to get into the center of uh, this area so i'll say again it to zero zero and zero so it is no matter the rotation part so go to here and select the sphere and i say unbound because this effector we are going to use for the rotation uh, so rotation means these plants it should be uh, in a normal direction so i'll say rotator okay and here i said the type unbound and uh, from here we will uh, say the rotation so inside the rotation i say minus 90 degree but before that go to in the cloner and from here we will just uh, 
uh, add this effectors from here okay so inside the index we have to uh, select the rotator here okay now you can see our grass is here go back to again in the cloner section uh, sorry rotate rotation okay and uh, one thing we have to do again in the cloner i'll just increase the message i say 500 this time now you can see all the plants and everything is in the normal direction i just say uh, i if i want more dense then i have to keep 3000 or else you can keep like more than this also so if you have the option uh, if you have the graphic card more capable then you can increase uh, like plants more so again go back to here in the actor section and uh, add the cloner and drag and drop so this effector will be animation okay so i say animation and uh, inside that uh, we will uh, keep the type it to plane only and uh, the motion will be this cubic in out okay cubic in and out and uh, first thing is we have to add this to here so inside the effector we will add so just say plus and get it again this to here okay so now i'm i'm not able to see the motion so we have to do this uh, select the animation and place it to center again center means it should be in the zero position again and uh, also we have to say the rotation it to zero zero and zero now select this and uh, from here in the scale part we have to say it to first zero okay in the effector and uh, one more thing we have to do effector animation inside the effector we will keep it to 0 0.1 0 0.1 it should be a bit smaller then you can see yes just move little bit here and first rotate it 